Hello, Frog Look. This is Phil. Saying hi to everybody. I received uh, an email. Nothing in the mail, but I received an email from the OSIG, which is the Inspector General's office, stating uh, my story and what they investigated, and they basically uh, stated everything that I said was uns unsubstantiated, just like I thought they would. Because when I filed a lawsuit against VDOT and Serco, Serco being the main defendant, um, VDOT's attorneys for the government basically contacted me. Uh, they were included, and they, uh, they didn't hit me with a bunch of paperwork to fill out. But uh, they were going to give a, a very viable defense for VDOT's conduct of blacklisting me and banning me from VDOT property illegally based on what Serco, their contractor, said. And they were hiding behind sovereign immunity. So the Inspector General's office basically did the same thing. They made some phone calls to VDOT. They said what happened with the contract. Uh, they didn't do a forensic uh, investigation and subpoena Serco's man hours. Uh, how many people filled in for overtime. And uh, compare them to all the routes that needed to be filled on a 24-hour-a-day basis. Each hour and about... 15 to 20 routes per shift for 24 hours. So they didn't compare anything. They didn't do a forensic investigation about the numbers, and the numbers will not add up. That's just a fact. There is no way they could possibly add up that Serco could have filled all the routes on our highways with all the people that, that uh, walked off the job from them. From January to June, if you're telling me if you add up those man hours, it's not at least uh, $500,000 of man hours missed that they should have been fined for, I'd say you're smoking something. So anyways, I basically have no other pot to piss in in terms of suing unless I can find out that my uh, photograph is still posted in... VDOT for an unsubstantiated reason. I've never threatened anybody. I've never done anything legal. All I've done was brought these things to the officials' attentions. And, <coughs> excuse me, this is how McCullough's government in Virginia works. If there's something wrong where uh, he looks illegal, like he did something illegal, or there's some kind of fraud, all he has to do is hide behind sovereign immunity and say whatever decision he made by appointing whoever is underneath him in VDOT, they're covered too in sover with sovereign immunity, meaning they can't be sued for the fraudulent book burning they do, or uh, I'm sorry, what is it called? When you cook the books. <laughs> they can't be sued for that. They can't be criminally prosecuted. And he has his IG, Inspector General's office, and BDOT covering for each other. McCullough is the worst governor we have ever had in Virginia. And now, I contacted this guy, Robert Thomas, who, uh, who beat out, um, what's her name, uh, Susan Stimson, and... He, they didn't even return a phone call. They did not even care about my story. So that tells me all these delegates in Virginia, too, well, a good majority of them, will not go forward with any kind of legal investigation that has teeth that starts arresting people who abscound with taxpayer money. Whether it's by crony capitalism, the contracts, or it's the own, their own government officials making sure that they have a job and they spread the money around to all their friends in these crony businesses like Serco Inc. 
So part of my statement with this video is uh, I'm not disheartened by it. I got the facts on my side. But if there is any attorney out there that wants to make some money by reporting this fact and actually litigating on the side to attack the Virginia uh, state government, look me up. Look me up on Facebook or wherever. My phone number is 540-310-3871. I've done every avenue I could do. And I've contacted every person I can. You'd be surprised of all the entities I've contacted just to sue Serco and VDOT and have some resolution to this so this does not happen to another citizen in Virginia or the United States ever again. I contacted the uh, Equal Opportunity Employment Commission. No go. I, cop uh, I contacted the OSING. No go. I contacted uh, Bill Howell. No go. I contacted uh, Susan Stimson. She couldn't help. I contacted uh, Rob Thomas, delegate of Virginia. No go. I've contacted seven different lawyers who wanted to be paid out right away to start litigation. No goes. Okay. I've contacted the Virginia State uh, Labor Commission. No go. Okay, tell me someone else that would stand up to them and do some paperwork on the side and bring this stuff out to, you know, the public so they can see and expose these people. Okay, they've harassed me for two years now, and now they're doing it offhandedly by covering up what happened. It's institutionalized freaking bigotry. I can't work for VDOT again in my life until all these people get fired. You know, the commissioner of VDOT all the way up to the governor. And they, they hide behind sovereign immunity. Sovereign immunity needs to go. It needs to be eradicated. And the delegates are the only ones that we can hire or vote in to get rid of sovereign immunity for good. You break the law, you go get arrested, and you do your time. That's how it is. And Virginia is turning out to be the most corrupted southern state I've ever seen or thought of, especially with assholes like uh, Terry McAuliffe. Any lawyer out there wants to contact me and do something on the side, any watchdog organization, they wouldn't even help me. They won't publish an article about this. Because it doesn't have enough oomph, I guess. Well, you be the one with your picture posted up in public for everybody to see, and you're banned like you did something illegal or wrong, or you threatened someone, and tell me how you feel. So if my photograph is still up in uh, P-Stock, up in Fairfax County, I still have a lawsuit. But as it stands now, they will never hire me again for safety service patrol. And I'm an honest ex-police officer. I'm upset, but uh, I never feel down. Jesus is on my side. The facts are on my side. And I don't care if they hire hitmen to come at, after me. I'm ready. <laughs> I don't wish anybody harm, but these people need to be arrested for fraud. Outright fraud. Thank you, Fraud Book. Everything is going good with me. My job is fantastic, and I just don't like the long trip in. It's about an hour both ways, but I got a new job at the same employer and everything is going fantastic and I'm thanking Jesus. I'm also thanking Jesus for my beautiful family I still have. But any lawyer out there that watches this, contact me on YouTube or contact me on uh, Fraud Book or call me up directly. I do not care. I already got telemarketers calling my phone. And I do not care. But I'm looking for a good lawyer that can do this on the side pro bono. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, contingency. Pro bono or contingency. And can put some teeth back into the law to get rid of these people in these offices. 
That's Phil McNichol in Virginia, 540-310-3871. Okay? Start out by a text so I know who you are and you're legitimate. Otherwise, I may not answer. But Terry McAuliffe has to go, and everybody below him that he appointed has to go. Thank you, Fraud Book. Thank you, Use Group. Have a good day.